In today's fast-paced business world, efficiency, quality and continuous improvement are not just buzzwords. They are the cornerstones of success. Lean Six Sigma, a powerful methodology born out of manufacturing but now embraced by organizations across industries, has become the gold standard for achieving operational excellence. Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn. Today we will be learning about the Lean Six Sigma roadmap for 2024. Let's get on a journey to unlock the secrets of Lean Six Sigma, where efficiency and quality converge. In this tutorial, we will uncover the Lean Six Sigma fundamentals and help you spearhead the transformative change in any industry. We will explore the roadmap of Lean Six Sigma, the belts from yellow to black, guiding you through the Lean Six Sigma fundamentals and technicalities. Discover how to streamline processes, reduce defects and achieve peak performance. By the end, you will not only grasp the methodology, but also know how to become a certified Lean Six Sigma professional, enhancing your career and impact in the world of continuous improvement. That said, if these are the types of videos you would like to watch, then like, share and hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified. If you are a professional with minimum one year of experience and an aspiring Lean Six Sigma professional looking for online training and certifications from prestigious universities, and in collaboration with leading experts to enhance your credibility, then search no more. Simply Learn's Lean Six Sigma Green Belt Certification Training Course is just what you need. For more details, use the link in the description box below. Now, without further delay, over to our training experts. Hello, everyone. So, without further delay, let's get started with Lean Six Sigma Roadmap for 2024. We will start off by understanding what is Lean Six Sigma and why do we need it. Lean Six Sigma is a methodology and a set of tools used by organizations to improve processes, increase efficiency, reduce defects, and enhance overall quality. It combines two powerful approaches, Lean and Six Sigma, each with its own focus and principles. Let's break it down in a simple and detailed manner. First one, Lean. Lean focuses on eliminating waste and optimizing the processes. It originated from manufacturing, but since it has been applied to various industries, we have the following stages or core principles of Lean Six Sigma. First, identifying value. Determine what customers truly value in a product or service. Eliminate anything that doesn't add value. Next one, mapping the value stream. Visualize the entire process from start to finish to identify areas of waste such as waiting, overproduction or unnecessary steps. Third one is flow. Create a smooth and efficient flow of work by minimizing interruptions and bottlenecks. Fourth one is pull. Establish systems where work is only done in response to customer demand, reducing excess inventory and work in progress. The fifth one, continuous improvement. Encourage a culture of continuous improvement by involving employees in identifying and eliminating waste. Six Sigma is a data-driven approach to process improvement that focuses on reducing various and now that we have understood what is Lean, now let's proceed with understanding what is Six Sigma. Six Sigma is a data-driven approach to process improvement that is focused on reducing variation and defects. It is a structured methodology that uses statistical tools to achieve a consistent quality. The core components of Six Sigma are as follows. First, define. Clearly define the problem, project scope, and objectives. Understand what's critical to customers. Next, measure. Collect data and analyze it to understand the current progress performance and identify potential sources of variation. Next ahead is analyze. Use statistical analysis to identify root causes of problems and prioritize them for improvement. Followed by that, we have improve. Develop and implement solutions to address the identified issues. Make data-driven changes to improve the process. And lastly, we have control. Implement controls to sustain the improvements. Monitor and measure ongoing performance. Lean Six Sigma. When Lean and Six Sigma are combined, organizations leverage the strengths of both methodologies. Lean helps streamline processes by eliminating waste, while Six Sigma ensures consistent quality by reducing defects and variation. The result is improved efficiency, reduced costs, enhanced customer satisfaction, and better overall performance. Everything boils down to a simple fact that the Lean Six Sigma is a comprehensive approach to process improvements that seeks to streamline process by eliminating waste, that is by Lean, reduce defects and variation by data-driven analysis, that is Six Sigma, improve efficiency, quality and customer satisfaction, and create a culture of continuous improvement within an organization. 
apps into healthcare to service industries and it empowers organizations to deliver better products and services while optimizing their operations. Having the basics of Lean Six Sigma discussed, we shall now proceed into the different belts or certifications available in Six Sigma. Fundamentally, Lean Six Sigma has six belts as follows. Firstly, Master Black Belt, Next Black Belt, Green Belt, Yellow Belt, White Belt and Brown Belt. Let's discuss each one of these in detail. The various Lean Six Sigma belt levels and their roles within an organization improvement projects. Firstly, we have the Master Black Belt, the role. At the pinnacle of Lean Six Sigma expertise, Master Black Belts serve as the program's elite leaders and mentors. Responsibilities They specialize in training and coaching Black Belts and Green Belts, equipping them with advanced skills and knowledge. Mastering the data analysis and statistical tools, they focus on developing key metrics and shaping the strategic direction of the Six Sigma program. Now, the impact. Acting as the organization's Six Sigma technologies and internal consultant, they are pivotal in driving transformative change and achieving superior operational excellence. Now proceeding ahead, we will discuss the Black Belt. The Rule Black Belts are engine of Lean Six Sigma projects, leading the way in problem solving and process optimization. Responsibilities They take charge of complex problem solving projects, driving data driven solutions to improve processes, Black Belts are not only project leaders but also trainers and coaches guiding project teams towards success. Impact Their expertise ensures that projects are executed effectively, leading to significant enhancements in efficiency, quality, and customer satisfaction. Now we have the Green Belt. Green Belts are valuable assets in Lean Six Sigma initiatives, bridging the gap between Yellow Belts and Black Belts. Responsibilities They play a dual role by assisting the data collection and analysis for Black Belts projects while also leading green belt projects or teams green belts drive process improvements and collaborate closely with black belts in fact their work contributes to streamline processes and serves as a stepping stone for more junior practitioners to progress with the lean six sigma IRRT. now we have the yellow belt yellow belts serve as essential members of lean six sigma project teams contributing their skills and insights responsibilities they actively participate in project teams, helping with process improvements and reviewing data that supports project objectives. Next, impact. Yellow belts bring a strong understanding of Lean Six Sigma concepts to the project level, providing valuable input and contributing to the success of initiatives. Followed by yellow belt, we have the white belt. Role. White belts represent the foundational level of awareness within Lean Six Sigma. Responsibilities. While they may not be a part of Six Sigma project teams, White Belts can engage in local problem solving efforts that support broader projects. They have a fundamental understanding of Lean Six Sigma concepts and principles. Impact White Belts help create a culture of awareness within the organization where employees at all levels grasp the basics of Six Sigma and its potential benefits. Lastly, the Brown Belt role. Brown belts occupy a huge, unique position that varies by organization as it's not a widely recognized level in traditional Lean Six Sigma. Responsibilities Some organizations classify brown belts as individuals who have attained a green belt certification and passed the black belt certification exam but may not have completed the second Six Sigma project. Impact While not universally acknowledged, brown belts in certain contexts may bridge the transition from green belt to black belt showcasing their commitment to mastering Six Sigma principles and methodologies. These enhanced descriptions highlight the significance of each Lean Six Sigma belt level and their respective contributions to achieving process excellence and organizational success. So far, we have understood the important belts of Lean Six Sigma. Moving further, we will discuss the process of becoming a certified Lean Six Sigma professional in 2024. But before that, let's hear from our learners about their personal experience and the success story after graduating from the Simply Learn's Lean Six Sigma Green Belt Certification Training Course. Hi, my name is Marika Milaya Kono. I am 28 years old. I am a chemical engineer living in New Jersey. I was living and working in Philadelphia when the pandemic hit. I was working with Sugar Right as a chemical engineer. And in August 2020, I left my job due to some personal reasons. I was free and I decided to utilize my time to learn a new skill and I went for the Lean Six Sigma Green Belt Certification from Simply Learn. 
Within the certification, there was a sub-certification called Lean Management, which I completed in December 2020. It was really helpful. In January 2021, I was hired by a leading cosmetic company as a chemical engineer with a 20% salary hike. I shifted to New Jersey and started working in New York. I completed my certification in March 2021. Even at my job here, I am applying my learnings from the course regularly. In fact, we had problems with organizing the space since so many new products were coming in. So, I used 5S, which is a Japanese way of sorting things out to organize things at my work. It is something I learned during the course. It has helped me a lot. I am really happy with the kind of life that I'm living right now. I am having the time of my life. Feeling inspired already? Consider checking the Simply Learn's Lean Six Sigma Greenbelt Certification Training Course. For more details, use the link in the description box below. Now, we will proceed with how to become a certified Lean Six Sigma personnel or the roadmap to get Lean Six Sigma certified. First, becoming a Six Sigma certified professional involves several steps, including training, gaining practical experience, and passing certification exams. Here is a general guide on how to become Six Sigma certified professional. The first step is understand Six Sigma. Start by gaining a clear understanding of what Six Sigma is and how it works. Read books, articles, and online resources to familiarize yourself with the methodology and principles. Second step, choose the right belt level. Decide which Six Sigma certification level you want to pursue. The most common levels are yellow belt, green belt, and black belt, with master black belt being the highest level. Enroll in training is the third step. Find a reputable training provider or institution that offers Six Sigma certification courses. Look for accredited programs that align with recognized Six Sigma standards. Fourth one is complete the training. Attend the training course for your chosen Six Sigma belt. The duration and format of the training may vary but typically involves classroom. The duration and format of the training may vary but typically involves classroom or online institution. Fifth step is to gain practical experience. To earn your certification, you will usually need to complete one or more real-world projects that apply Six Sigma principles. This practical experience is a crucial component of the certification process. Moving ahead, we have the sixth step. Study and prepare. Review course materials, textbooks and resources provided during the training. Familiarize yourself with Six Sigma tools, statistical methods and problem-solving techniques. Moving ahead, we have the seventh step that is about take practice exams. Many training programs offer practice exams or sample questions to help you prepare for certification exam. Take advantage of these resources to gauge your readiness. Now we have the eighth step. Register for the certification exam. Once you have completed your training and gained the required practical experience, register for the Six Sigma certification exam through the relevant certification body or organization. Common certifying bodies include ASQ or American Society for Quality or IASSC or International Association for Six Sigma Certification. Pass the exam is the ninth step. Take the certification exam and strive to achieve the passing score. The passing score may vary depending on the certification body and level. Be prepared and demonstrate your knowledge of Six Sigma concepts and tools. Now the tenth step. Maintain your certification, which may be optional. Some Six Sigma certification require ongoing maintenance, such as earning continuing education units, that is CEUs, or practicing the professional development activities. Check the requirements for your specific certification and stay up to date. Now, the 11th step is to apply your skills. Once you become certified, apply your Six Sigma knowledge and skills in your workplace or in relevant projects. Continue to learn and improve your abilities through practical experience. Now the 12th step is again an optional step, but again, let's go through it. Consider advancing to higher levels. If you hold a lower level certification, example green belt, and wish to advance to your Six Sigma career, you can consider pursuing a higher level certification, example black belt or master black belt after gaining more experience and expertise. Remember, remember that the specific requirements and certification process may vary depending on the certifying body and the level of certification you pursue. It's essential to research and choose a certification path that aligns with your career goals and industry requirements. We have reached the end of this session on Lean Six Sigma Roadmap 2024. Should you need any assistance, PPT and other resources used in this session, please let us know in the comment section below. 
and our team of experts will be happy to help you as soon as possible. Until next time, thank you and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.